I'm joined now by Jason Matheny, founder of New Harvest, a nonprofit research institute that supports research for artificial meat. Jason, this is flesh created in a lab. What is it going to taste like? Well, it, it should taste the same as conventional meat because it's made out of the same stuff. Uh, so if we look at the way that our chicken nuggets and our hamburger is produced now, we think we can match that, that same taste and texture by producing meat in culture in a way that's much safer, much more efficient, and much healthier for the consumer. But right now, we can only grow very small amounts. Uh, so producing it at a large scale uh, is still uh, quite a technical challenge. So it's meat that is produced efficiently. What are the other potential benefits? Uh, well, one of the main ones is the environmental benefit. So some work that we're doing right now at Oxford University suggests that we could reduce by more than 80% uh, the greenhouse gas emissions from meat production by producing meat in vitro in culture. Another great benefit is uh, the public health potential of cultured meat. So right now we suffer very high rates of cardiovascular disease due to the amount of animal fat that we take in from our meat. Uh, in uncultured meat, you can precisely control the amount of fat. So you could have more of the healthy fats like omega-3 um, and less of the unhealthy fats. So we could have hamburgers that actually prevent heart attacks rather than cause them. But you know what, the yuck factor in all this is, is pretty high. So how do you convince people out there, including me, to give it a shot? Well, we think that the, the yuck factor should really be associated with conventional meat because this is meat that's, in general, uh, typically unhealthy. Uh, we have half of our uh, chicken contaminated with salmonella or campylobacter, according to a recent consumer report study. Uh, we have uh, increased risk of E. coli. Uh, we have problems like swine flu and avian flu. The, the yuck factor should really be focused on conventional meat and the way it's produced right now, which is simply unhealthy, unsafe, and unsustainable. I would have to know how it was made. You start out with an individual cell and then multiply that cell in this large tank until you have many, many cells uh, that you then continue to grow until they form tissues. So it's the, it's the same stuff that's in the meat we eat now. Why do you think this is necessary? Meat causes millions of deaths each year due to cardiovascular disease. It contributes uh, more carbon emissions uh, to global climate change than the entire transportation sector. Can they guarantee with all certainty that this is going to be safe to eat? We could grow our meat in conditions that wouldn't produce uh, new uh, pathogenic strains of influenza because you wouldn't have live animals that are living in, in their own waste. Can't imagine that they could come up with an answer for growing meat in a laboratory that would solve the issue of, of hunger on the planet. We already have a problem uh, growing uh, meat for, um, for 6 billion people, producing meat for 9 billion people, as there will be soon in a few decades, is simply not sustainable.